And another one. So one of my guys had wanted me to bring back out my Invictus reactor. And um, also another one of my guys had wanted me to take out my um, Vortex or WL Toys, you know, 959, 18th scale. Uh, they do have a rally car uh, to rally cross. Uh, it's a 340 motor um, with the JXT type connectors. Um, this car is a fun little car, and he's probably looking to buy it maybe. And um, I would say it's worth it, you know, for if you just want a fun little thing. You know, I took it on the baseball field. This dirt in the baseball field is weird. Their dirt is a little different than the normal dirt because it does kind of mess it up. I had to get a few motors replaced on this because it like kind of weird. The servo is not the strongest thing, but it is what it is. You know, it works. See, it works. Um, it's got this cool kind of like DXTE looking controller, which works. And uh, the, the way it binds, if you buy a couple extra ESCs, is it's really easy to bind to. It's like already kind of binded. Like you could get like that controller, and if you buy like say um <clears throat> like the uh truck or the or sct the short course truck you like this one i have this one too you could um get make it work it'll work on all two of them whichever one you turn on first so i could like use that controller for that one it's already binded i just turn on this controller and whichever switch i hit on there it'll it'll already be going so you know that's that uh, it says 50 kilometers per miles per hour which is about 30 miles per hour ages 14 and up awesome truck good starter truck i'll show you guys some running footage of it and compared to my invictus of course my invictus is going to be faster because it's running 3s and it's brushless whereas uh this thing is um not you know of course the invictus running the uh reactor again you guys see that another look at it 3000 kv uh brushless esc um i got some spacers to protect the body on top um i do have a red body too okay you could put on there like this you know and it looks all dope and then of course don't just bash blast you know so i'm gonna show you guys me blasting real quick i don't have any dirt areas because i'm over in a different area today running these cars um so you know it's four by four and, um, you know, I'm known for my smoke detectors beeping. So if you hear the smoke detector beeping, that's a trademark Tom Tracks. I got like 20 people hate on me when I first did that. So if you hear that in the background, just uh, go on and give me your hate comments. It's all good. Uh, this Gus says 30 miles per hour, but it's actually faster. On 3S, it runs about, I would say, 45, 40 to 45. It's quick. I'll show you in a second compared to the other one. And... Um, when you first buy it, you get this uh, nickel metal hydride 8 cell, it's 1800, which kind of sucks, it's not that good. Uh, it doesn't come with a slipper clutch and I did install one on here. Aftermarket, just to give it that, it's usually direct drive. Um, this is the controller, it's the Ironic HRS 3.2, 3 channel, 2.4 gigahertz operation. Metal gear is extremely durable for the differentials, rubble sealed bearings, long travel um suspension and um it does come in red it does have these little flags i have them but i took them off because when you flip it it always it always hits you know what i'm saying uh but yeah those two colors uh red or blue uh, we got the blue but of course we got the red too okay anyways um let's run them so this little like 350 um brush motor is pretty dope they do have a bigger motor on this now like a 540 if you get the the new version but this WL Toys was one of my favorites, man. It's it's small, it's cool, you can use it in the front yard, it's easy to control, um, it's great to run on the street. It does do off-roading pretty well, but when I was on the baseball field, it uh it kind of got into the motor a little bit and the ESC and I had to replace it. So I got a couple extra motors, a couple extra ESCs, you know, running on there. But uh it's a fun little rig, man. Definitely, definitely a fun little rig. Alright, we're gonna run a little Helion Invictus up in here too, so you can compare the, the difference in the speeds. Uh, let's grab that real quick. Ugh. So this Helion Invictus is pretty good now. It, uh... It's fixed from the last time I had it obviously it's a lot faster than that uh, probably running about maybe 50 miles 45 miles per hour it does wheelie on command hi <laughs> all four wheels work and uh, and it works really good four wheels will uh, wheelie really easily too on this thing because earlier 
the grub screw came loose and it wasn't working too good. And uh, but now, see it sounds good again. It's fixed. If you guys watched my last video, it wasn't. And I was willing. Yeah, go ahead and grab it. It's okay. I'm just making a video here for all you, everybody. A lot quicker. But you know the other one, it probably does about the vortex maybe about 20, 25 to 30 miles per hour. Um, that's about it. And of course with the uh, helion, you can run in the grass. Woo! The vortex doesn't run in the grass too good because obviously the uh, the wheels are smaller. Oh my gosh, that's having two kids for you fighting, fighting over stuff. I don't know what it is. You can run around the grass, look for some doggy landmines up in here. This thing is bad. Anyways, I'm doing uh, these two videos for my guys. They had asked it. One of my guys really wanted to see the Invictus back out here. And the other guy wanted to see the uh, Vortex, you know, the WL Toys uh, old school Vortex. So I wanted to kind of bring it out here and show you guys. Um, so let me slow this down, come up here, and uh, yeah, and then uh, grab the Vortex one more time. All right. Yeah. Pretty quick for a little thingy. Uh, it does about 20, like I said, 20, 30 miles per hour. Oh. Real quick. Traction's not the best, but you could make this thing all aluminum. They do have upgraded parts for it. It works pretty good. Runs straight. And the cool thing is, the funny thing with this ESC is it'll work with all... Like this controller that I showed you guys, you could just get a USC and it'll it'll just tag up right with it. It's really easy to bind. Um, it's kind of interesting because you could get an extra one really cheap. These cars are pretty cheap. Like I said, $59, $60. Julian really Invictus discontinued, but it did run about $300 originally. Um, I got a steal for it and I still love that truck. But anyways, uh, you guys will see this thing doesn't run too well on the grass. So I'm just keeping it. Uh, yeah, go and grab it. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Um, that's it for today with these two guys running. Check out the scale and the picture with the kids playing football in the background. Um, have a great day, and there's another video for you on the weekend.